Hey you guys, it's Catalia. I am here at a reptile expo in Conroe, Texas. Let's go look around at some animals and I'll show you guys my tables because I'm vending and there's a lot of really cool things to see here so I'm really excited to show you guys. Let's go. So that's the line, it's really long, let the games begin. Okay you guys, so the show just started and we have our first crested gecko we sold. This is Harrison and this Hi. is Towns. He got this beautiful little Calypso Zeppelin baby. Thank you so much for getting one of my geckos. You're welcome. I know you'll take great care of it. He set up a whole bioactive. Thank you so much. This is Elijah and this is his first time holding a crested gecko. How many stars out of 10 was your experience just now? Uh, eight. Eight out of 10? You did so good, you dirty little creature. This is Penny the Kinkajou. I'm gonna make an Instagram post with her and tag her in it. Kinkajous are yeah, such awesome, so awesome animals. She sees the people, she's just busy. She, yeah. non-stop from spring to here. Hey, baby. So she has pent up energy. So kinkajous oh, wow. are definitely it's not awesome. um, something that most people should have. As you can see, she's very busy. They have a, a fully a prehensile tail, so it's basically a fifth limb. I would travel across They're the so country. cool. I'm gonna tag the owner of her, and then I'm also gonna tag Kinkatopia. They're a really great kinkajou rescue if you want to learn more about them. <laughs> Look at her, she's awesome. <laughs> she's beautiful. They eat a lot of fruit. So I'm holding a really special ball python here um, and he's owned by Scylla Special Serpents and this is a banana fire black lace. It's probably the only one in existence. It's a banana fire and black lace. There's another one here that is banana black lace and that one has a lot more speckling on it. So if you compare the two. This is the black lace. Yes. And it's a recessive gene. It is a recessive gene. This is just a single gene animal? Yes. Yeah. I believe. And he was a big fat surprise. That's why big the banana surprise. black lace looks so much like the banana. Purple line, possible het albino, azanthic, and lavender hognose. I love the way these guys look. Here's a tricolor hognose. I have a couple of these at my house. There are different species to the western hognoses. They like a bit more humidity. Here we have a lavender. These are awesome. I'm here at the Gecko World Austin table and they have a bunch of lily whites. This guy is awesome. He's like a phantom red. Check that out. That is crazy. He's still a lily white. You can see the white on his tail and on his legs there. But he's a phantom. This guy is just awesome. Whoa. Sometimes they, I feel like they're azanthics when I first look at them. He's really dark. So I just uh, found a toucan. <laughs> this is a keelbill toucan. They're primarily fruit eaters. Not many people have these, so it's really cool to see one at the show here. Just absolutely awesome. The things you see at these shows is just crazy. There's always something new. You can see he's got some snacks there. Someday I will have a toucan. One of my animals on my bucket list. <laughs> Okay, so I want to show you guys my table. I've walked around a little bit, but I still haven't seen everything. I've sold a couple things and it's the second day, but I still have some Boop. cool stuff to show you guys. Do that again, please. Boop. Thank you. <laughs> so, start here. I vend with Houston Frogs over there. I'll show you guys their table here in a bit. We vend together and help each other out, watch each other's stuff. But yeah, starting out, I've got my merch available now. So I'll have it with me if you ever find me at an expo. If I go to Tinley, I should be bringing some there as well. But there's three quarter sleeve shirts, purple ones, black ones, normal t-shirts and hoodies and all kinds of cool stuff. And then we've got some stickers. I need to make more. I haven't made any art in quite a while. This is like years old now. My friend and Hannah, who you guys might have seen in my rattlesnake removal video, uh, she breeds ball pythons, so I take them to the show for her because she helps me take care of my animals when I'm gone. And here's my geckos. I've already sold three of them, but I still have some to show you guys. I've brought quite a few holdbacks with me, as you can see here. And I also have some lily whites. I'm producing them now, so I decided to possibly part with the ones that I was given in trades. Frog. 
frogs. So can you show us some cool frogs? I can. These are Balobades Uraba bicolors. And also we have the Costa Rica Rodas. Like this little one here. We have the fine spot look melons. We bought it all from him. Those are uh, French Guiana. So something else cool about Houston frogs is they have one of the widest varieties of isopods, especially in Texas. Um, you've got some of the really rare stuff too, don't you? That's right, we do. Uh, like over here, we have the rubber ducky isopods. These are so sought after. Um, these parents, as soon as you post them online, they're sold out. We also have the Pak Chong isopods too. One of the uh, classic collector isopods is the Montenegros. These people really love because they're beautiful spots and they're red skirts. One of the most popular isopods that we carry. So other than the isopods and dart frogs, which is the main course of Houston frogs, they also have a wide variety of other amphibians, and we've got some betta fish, and a new thing that Chase has started working with is ant colonies, and I'll let him tell you a bit more about them. So we have two main types, that's going to be either the harvester ants or the carpenter ants. Harvester ants, like the rugosus or the occidentalis, are very easy to care for. Essentially all they eat is seeds, dandelion seeds, or you can feed them the hearts of um, sunflower seeds. You can also feed them fruit flies or dead insects. Very easy. You can actually put them in a form and carry them as well. Now I suggest keep them in the uh, test tube set up at least until they have a dozen workers or so. Eventually you can put them into a little pharmacarium for a really nice display. That's so cool. And you can dress out the top any way that you'd like with little sticks or moss. So they're actually magnetic. You can expand your colony whenever your colony size is big enough. We also work with mantids. A lot of typical mantids like the giant Asians and the Asian flowers. We also sell the fruit fly cultures to be able to feed them as well. So we have uh, some of our melon gaster here. We also have some bazadi here for a larger fly. So it's been a while since I have shared with you guys when I've gotten a new animal and I don't know if you guys remember pomegranate but she's a lychee that I got uh, over a year and a half ago, maybe two years now. I ended up selling her, which I regret doing very much, but the person that I sold her to, he gave me a really good deal on one of her babies. So I got one of Pomegranate's babies. This little gecko is so pretty and it has some really nice barring and some really nice colors. I'm excited to see how it grows up. check out her Herbs Conroe video. Do you guys have any lychees? We do. One. Yes. Just one? Yeah, we're looking for a male because we have a female. There's still like such a high price point that we're kind of waiting for that to come down and then yeah. we'll eventually get it. Are you thinking about getting like an adult or starting with a baby? Probably a sub-adult. So sub -adult. something that's big enough to sex, you know, but not a full adult because then you sometimes don't know how old they really are. We want True. something that we can raise up at least a bit. So what did you guys see at the show that is really cool to you? Venomous stuff. Yeah, venomous, venomous stuff. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> monocled cobras and spitting cobras over there and rattlesnakes. Bush vipers. <laughs> are there any like venomous shows up north? Yeah there. Are. Wisconsin then, has some venomous shows. That's right. I need to come see your shop someday. Yes you yeah. do. Well I mean it's nothing right now. It's an empty shell of a building right yeah. now. I saw your videos. It's looking really good. Yeah we're it's a lot of work but yes. uh, it's gonna be epic <laughs> when it's ready. I'm really happy I got to run into you guys. I'm yeah, glad you made it to Texas so hopefully we can do more videos at Tinley. Yes. yes. Coming to March Tinley? I'm gonna try. Okay, nice. <laughs> we will see you there then. So this is Nathan. He's been in some of my videos before and he's holding Harvest. Yeah, you've seen her in my videos before, right? Many times. And I actually bred her, so. Yep, a Catalaya's uh, critter line. She is. Um, Nathan's back at the table and he just picked up a Halmahara, um, sometimes called the poor man's lychee. He's mm -hmm. like, at first glance, this it looks, looks, like it. It looks like a lychee. Do you know what you're gonna name it yet? Harley. 
family, that's perfect. I love it. All right, you guys, so I just ran into some awesome people. This is Bridget and this Hello. is David. So they have YouTube channels of their own. I'm Baby's Beasties. And I'm Davis's Exotics. Do you guys do animal stuff? Yes, yes. lots of reptiles and yeah. everything. Do you like the show so far? <laughs> Absolutely. My husband and I come to this one every single time. Oh, really? We love it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, go give them a follow and she's gonna post a picture of us on Instagram. So if you guys have watched any of my no. reptile okay. expo videos, you probably will have seen Carl, who is with South Tex Gex, and he has some of the most amazing gargoyles and lychees. This is one of his bacon lined gargoyles. watching it anyways. It was also really cool to run into Ed and Emily here. If you haven't already, you should check out their channel at Snake Discovery. We did a little segment on her video as well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll be seeing you in one of my next videos very soon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!